I speak unto thee this day, and I say, refuse, and refute the unfruitful works of darkness. I say, refuse to accept the thoughts that the enemy would hurl at thee, to get you to give in to sin, to get you to back up on me, to get you to feel like you want to throw in the towel in despair. For I say, you are not men to give way to those things, for I say, they are unfruitful messages of darkness. And I say they are sent by the messengers, that is, the demon forces, that lay in wait to deceive and overwhelm my people. But I say you are not meant to be overwhelmed of evil, but I say you are meant to overcome evil with good, that is, the goodness that is found in me, the truth of who I am, and the light that I give upon the path. For I say if it is me that you keep your focus, your vision upon, you are uplifted and guided in my way. And I say, you are given the strength, the truth, and the light, the mercy that I alone do bring. Now I say, in an adulterous, a wayward, a vile, a corrupt generation, consider that it is me who gives you newness of life. Consider that it is me who guides you forth. Consider that it is me who is the truth given unto all who will pay heed unto me. Now I say, if you pay heed to me, you are guided by me. And I say, you are directed by me. And I say, you are corrected by me. For I say that I, the living God, am ever present to give to my own exactly what they need. That is, to be brought forth in truth and light and mercy revealed. And to be uplifted each day in the blessedness that I do bring. Now I say this day, count it a privilege to believe upon me, to trust me, and obey me this day. And count it a privilege to be ever guided in the truth, the light, the strength, the blessedness of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, have intended good and not evil for my people. And I say that I've intended that my people would be brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. Now I say this day, when you truly consider that I am the one who gives you life and truth and mercy, I say be me glad to be serving me. And I say when you truly consider that I am the one who will direct you and correct you, then I say that you can be thankful unto me. Now I say that I, the living God, never called you to walk afar off from me. I never called you to be estranged from my way. But I say that I've called you to come forth, may glad rejoicing that it is me you can look to each day. Now I say you are living in times of trouble, times of despair and darkness on every hand. But I say to the ones who will repent and return to me, I say these are times of glorious life. Now I say this day be thankful that you may live in the light, declare the light, and be messengers of light. For I say when you are indeed thankful unto me, then I say you are uplifted each day. But I say when you see the ones who give in to self-pity, who give in to accusation against me, who turn and walk away from me, what do you see? I say you see fools who will be devoured and destroyed in their folly. For I say they are choosing the way of corruption, the way of destruction, above the way of my life. And I say they are choosing to be losing by walking far off from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk afar off from me, but I call you to be uplifted in my way. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me, the living God, you may look to each day and believe. For I say when you are being guided by me, I say you are guided in life. And I say you are given the truth, the strength, and the mercy that I alone do bring. Now I say this day count it a privilege to look to me, to believe upon me and trust me, for I am the I am. That is, I am the way that is truth and light and mercy given to all who will believe upon me. And I say that I am the righteousness revealed because it is me, the living God, who is far above men. And I say when men will be repentant and walking in humility before me, ever seeking to come into and maintain my standard, then I say they are found well pleasing. But I say when men are ever consorting with evil, listening to the, for the voices of darkness, then I say they are overwhelmed in the same. I say this day, let it be me, the living God, that you look to. Let it be me, the living God, that you will be eager to please. For I say, when you are guided forth in truth and light and mercy, then I say you are ever strengthened in me. And I say you are given the hope, the purpose, the plan that I offer day after day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. I say it is in me, the living God, that you are given the strength to continue each day. 
I say this day, let it be me that you will believe, that you will trust, that you will serve. And let it be me who is the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end. For I say, when it is me that you partake of day after day, I say you are partaking of life. But I say, when you partake of the feast of demons, you partake of death. Now I say, this day there is a continual warfare that is transpiring in the spirit. But I say, you are not meant to see yourself as alone. For I say, when you fight for me, that is my righteousness, reveal the standard. And the desire that I have to see men redeemed, I am ever present with thee. But I say, when you turn back and you begin to believe the lies of the liar, begin to accept the counsel of demons, then I say you grow weak and feeble in the same. But I say, if you look to me as being ever present, if you realize the angelic host is ever present likewise, then I say, you see, you are not alone. I say this day do not accept the counsel of wickedness, but I say seek the wisdom that comes from me. For I say when any man or woman desires my wisdom, I say they are being guided in the same. Now I say when you see the tribulation, the calamity that has beset the nations that departed my wisdom to take up the way of fools, what do you see? I say you see men and women confounded, dumbfounded and taken far from life. And I say it is because they chose the wisdom of the dead rather than the living. I say this day the counsel of ungodly will cause you to be damned. And I say when you see the ones who departed my wisdom to take up the counsel of fools, know they receive the fool's reward. And I say because they oppressed and despised the truth, I say they are being oppressed and despised. And I say they cannot find the strength to retaliate against the very evil that besets them. Now I say that is the consequence, the reward of those who choose to go whoring from me. I say this day be seeking my counsel, be seeking my wisdom in all that you do. For I say when you will be thankful to receive of me, then I say you are guided by me. And I say when you will be thankful to be purposed by me, then I say you are directed in life. I say count it a privilege to believe me, to trust me, and obey me each day. And count it a privilege to be ever knowing that I am the I am. That is, I am the one who is truth and light and mercy revealed. And I say that I am the one who gives you the truth each and every day. For I say when you are partaking of that which I give you, then I say you are guided more by me. But I say when you are receiving the counsel of darkness, you are guided into death. I say it is stupidity to take up death when you have been given newness of life. I say each day seek to be pleasing unto me in what it is that you do, what it is that you think, what it is that you aspire to acquire. For I say you are not meant to be chasing after the values of the world that slips away. But I say you are meant to be aspiring to gain the treasures of my kingdom. Now I say this day that it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth. And it is me, the living God, who will give you the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. I say thank me and praise me that I will uplift and direct you day after day. Thank me and praise me that I am the one who gives to you the helmet of salvation. Keep on the same. That is, do not allow the enemy to make your mind a breeding ground of that which is death. But I say, instead, keep your thoughts aright, that is, upon me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed the conquering king, the force that shall prevail. And it is me, the living God, who does uplift, direct, and guide the ones who believe upon me. For I say, it is a privilege to keep on trusting, believing, and looking unto me day after day. And I say, it is a privilege to be brought forth, renewed in the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. I say thank me and praise me that through me you are uplifted, directed, and brought forth. Thank me and praise me that through me you are given the hope each day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is hope and life, truth and strength and mercy providing. And it is me, the living God, who does ever uplift, direct, and bring forth the people who are renewed in me. For I say when you look to me as the one who is able, when you believe upon me as the truth, the light, and the strength provided, then I say you are guided forth. But I say when you look to the vanity of this world, the stupidity, the darkness of the saints, I say that you will be overwhelmed. I say this day you are not meant to be overwhelmed, you are meant to seek your counsel of me. 
Now I say this day, how many years have the wicked plotted against thee, schemed to overthrow thee, sought to devour thee, and snare and entangle thee? And I say, because you have sought for my wisdom, they have not prevailed. I say, so it is, even now, continue to seek for your wisdom from me. That is, that you can be guided in the counsel of life rather than the counsel of death. That you can be uplifted, directed, and brought forth each day by me. For I say that my living God will not withhold my counsel from the ones who desire the same. And I say that the men who hungers and thirst after righteousness will be filled. Therefore, I say, count it a privilege to believe me, to trust me, and obey me each and every day. And count it a privilege to be guided in the straight and narrow way of eternal life, that you can be rejoicing in me. For I say, it is through me that you are given the hope, the peace, the strength, and the safety day by day. And it is through me that you are brought forth, for I will not cease to guide you in life. I say, when you will be rejoicing, ever be glad to adhere unto me, then I say, you are directed by me. And I say, you are given the blessedness, the strength, and the truth of who I am. I say, do not limit what I, the living God, am able to do as you adhere unto me. But I say, be ever thankful that I am the I am. For I say, so often my people want to harness me and limit me. But I say, in so doing, they are fools, for they lose out on the greater revelation of power and glory and miracles that I intend to provide. I say this day, be thankful that there are unlimited horizons before you, as you will cleave to me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who supersedes the power of men. It is me, the living God, who is indeed the incredible God who remains. And I say, when you look to me and believe me and trust me, then you will see that my power and my glory and my strength are everlasting. I say, this day be open to the moving in the mind of my spirit, for in the same you will find that I do prevail, and you will find that I do bring forth any and all who will believe and trust in me. I say, this day be thankful for what it is that I do, the way that I move, and the truth that I provide. And I say, be thankful that in me you are uplifted, directed, and corrected each day, and given the light upon the path, the truth, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. For it is me that I be God alone of all the gods who is able. I say thank me and praise me that you are uplifted, directed, and brought forth. Thank me and praise me that you are given the hope, the peace, and the strength that I provide. Thank me that each day you can indeed receive my wisdom and be guided in life. I say this day do not look to the world to guide you, for you will end in a ditch. But I say, look to me as the one true God who is able. And I say, look to me as the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end. And I say, in so choosing, you will not be losing, for I am ever present to give thee abundance of truth and life and mercy revealed. I say, thank me and praise me that you can obey and be guided in my way, that you can be uplifted, directed, and brought forth in the truth, the light, the mercy revealed, declaring repentance to a sin-sick, a dying world, that is inevitably destined for wrath if you do not. Repent. Repent. Repent.